Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare. For today's video, I'm going to give you guys an update on my Project Pan year 2022. Ano bang mga products na finish up ko na? May nahit pan ba ako? Did I meet any of my goals during January and February? Yan, manalaman natin yan. If you guys are new to Project Panning, I'm basically trying to use up or hit pan some items din sa aking collection para ma-appreciate ko sila, magamit ko man lang sila before they go bad, di ba? Makeup expires. Tandaan natin yan. These are just one of the ways for me to curb my overspending habits. Medyo walgas ako mag-spend talaga dati. Kaya, ayun, I'm just trying to correct that. Be more, you know, responsible with my finances. Hindi po kahit may pera ako. Right now, that means na pwede ko nang spend to whatever things that I just want. If you guys are interested in these types of content, I hope that you subscribe to my channel as well as click on the notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. It's project panning. I've been doing this for a couple of years now dito this aking channel. My first project pan ko and then your second year ako nag project pan. I'll link ko lang yun sa baba so that you guys are more aware of what I'm trying to do. This is the first update for my project pan year 2022 and let's get into it. Let's start first with the good things and then let's end with the medyo mahirap na products. Okay. Ubus ko na ang aking Essie & Co. Uh, Active Skin Tint in the shade Fawn. I actually have two sa aking collect. Well, I used to have two uh, of the skin tint sa aking collection. Isang Fawn tapos isang Bisque. So, gamit ko na si Fawn so I only have Bisque and Bisque is a better match for me, kaya tinatry ko na to ubusin sa aking collection para wala na. At saka, ito rin yung nasa luma nilang packaging, yung nasa pump pa. Nung dipabilis ko naman to naubos, guys. Actually, January naubos ko na siya. I think mga 4 to 5 uses pa yung natira dito. After the first use, hindi ko na ma-pump. So, ang ginawa ko, binuksan ko na siya sa mga 4 uses pa. Tapos, ayan, simot na simot yan sa loob, guys. Siyempre, hindi ko na siya totally nilinis. Like, sobrang linis. As it is, happy na ako. Yung pinagpalit ko na dyan is yung BLK Cosmetics Life Proof Airy Serum Foundation. So, the reason why ito ang nilagay ko sa aking project pan is because medyo similar lang talaga sila. Like, I, they're very, very close to each other. I feel like they're occupying the same space. They're giving the same purpose sa aking collection. I mentioned ko na to dun sa aking introductory video, so this comes as no surprise for you guys. Cannot really tell you guys kung ilan pa ang natira dito. Component is very opaque, so hindi ko talaga makikita yung level. Siguro when it's just hard to pump the product, that's when I will call it quits na. But I've used this a lot, especially nung January and then yung February. Ito talaga yung ginagamit ko. Pero mid-February, nag-shop my stash na ako, so I have the happy skin cushion sa aking rotation right now. Kaya yun na yung re-reach ko. At second half at least ng February. I feel like medyo malapit na tong maubos. That's my update for that one. And then, for February, naubos ka na rin ang aking Hyper Gleam Hydrating Lip Gloss in the shade Plush Cake. This is the older version, the one with the hazelnut flavor. I think right now, this is in peach flavor. Ito yung unang-unang Hyper Gleam ko na lip gloss. The lip gloss that made me fall in love with the brand and the quality of their lip glosses. Parati ko silang nire-recommend kasi ang ganda lang talaga ng quality nila. Okay, ayoko nang ulit-ulitin ko anong sinasabi ko about Hyper Gleam lip glosses basta love na love ko to, okay? Medyo bittersweet lang talaga kasi syempre gusto gusto ko yung hazelnut yung flavor and of course the memories that came along with this product. To give you guys an update of what happened, so parate ko lang tong ginagamit doon sa desk ko. Like, nakapatong lang to sa desk ko para whenever I see it, I get reminded to use it. So, ginagamit ko lang siya and then it came to a point that I had to remove the stopper para lang ma-try kong makuha talaga lahat ng product na kaya kong kunin. So, around uh, Feb 16, nakasulat dito sa notes ko, Feb 16, tinanggal ko na yung stopper. Ginagamit ko lang talaga as much as I can. And eventually, naubos na siya. I know that there are still some product around the container, but I'm not gonna be like putting so much effort in trying to get product out from the tube already. I don't have patience for that. And besides, ang dami pa pa kasing lip products na 
gamitin. I, mean, I just have so much. So what I will be replacing the Hyper Beam Lip Gloss is another lip oil lip gloss product. And this is yung Vice Cosmetics Lip Oil. Ito yung nasa kanilang pop candy set. Yung pink set. Yung candy glaze. For some reason, that collection has not been getting a lot of buzz. Because I feel like quality of the lip product is actually pretty good. Yung packaging lang, of course, medyo cheap. Kasi syempre lower price point siya. Pero... The quality, quality is not bad. Ganyan na ang kanyang uh, amount na nandito. May feel ko mabilis ko lang to maubos. Maybe one month, a month and a half, maubos ko na to. So by my next update, dapat meron na akong papalit. So ayan na naman, nagsasabi na naman ako na maubos ko siya in this amount of time. Tapos sa next update, hindi ko pala siya maubos. Well, you'll never know. Those are the products that na ubus ko, na hit ko yung goal ko. Now let's move on to the products that I have very, very good progress actually. So the first one is ito, yung Hyper Glean Moonshine Multi Chrome Pigment in the shade Samba. Meron na kasi ako biniling backup nito, kaya tinatry ko tong ubusin yung copy ko. Kinanggal ko narin yung kanyang stopper, and actually the product is getting a little dry since it's a water-based product. My facial spray, this spray ko siya sa loob para ma-revive lang yung kanyang formula. I'm not gonna advise you guys to do that <laughs> kasi syempre it's not technically eye safe like I'm risking my own eyes here pero if that's something that you're comfortable in doing then go ahead. Actually ito, itong product na to na medyo nahihirapan na akong tanggalin yung scoop yung product because the pigment is right at the bottom and technically the doe foot doesn't really really reach the bottom of the tube. So what I do is I get na lang a brush like this, yung parang liner brush. Something that can go inside the tube so that I can pick up the product. So medyo matrabaho lang siya but it's what I have to do. Sayang kasi and I know that this product is very very expensive. 900 siya a piece. 600 pesos each if you buy three. I would go leaps and bounds just to get every drop from this too. You know how much I love multi-chromes. That's how much I love them. Moving on to good progress products. Ito. This is the Revlon Skin Nights Prismatic Bronzer. I really, really love this bronzer. Hindi pa rin nag-wane off yung love ko for this product ever since I got it. Ah! People need to talk more about this. I don't know why. Pero ayan. You can see na na wala na yung kanyang imprint or yung parang markings doon sa panya. And that's a good sign. Medyo hindi na siya ganong kaganda tignan, pero it's still a good sign. And I'm actually very happy for that. How the product was pressed, medyo may, it's, it's an even, you know. So hindi ko alam kung malapit na ba ako mahit pan dito or hindi. I'll take yung pag smoothen ng kanyang pan as a good sign. And ayun, I just really like this product. Okay, wala na talaga akong masabing masama about this product. Aside from, siguro one experience lang is nag-hard pan siya. Hindi ko parating nililinisan yung aking brush. So kung ano mang residue or oily residue sa aking brush, nagta-transfer dito sa powder and therefore nagkakaroon na siya ng hard pan. Pero madali ka naman siya na tinanggal. Naglagay lang ako ng tape dito, scrunch ko lang yung parts na may hard pan siya. And then, ayun. Parang brand new na rin siya and I don't have any trouble picking up the product anymore. Kasi when you have hard pan, medyo mahirapan kang mag-pick up ng product. I wanna see a pan on this one before I rotate it out from this project. Ito yung aking Laura Mercier powder, yung translucent powder nila. I deposited it dito sa Hailey Beauty BB powder ko just because I like I like the packaging and mas ano siya, travel friendly for me than their original packaging kasi medyo bulky yun. And this one has a mirror inside as well. As you can see guys, nasa diameter part na akong packaging. Nasa widest part na ako. And um, I'm not so sure how big my next progress is just because sobrang wide niya. But I like yung distance between yung 2022 marking ko and yung Feb marking ko. Wala lang akong January marking. I don't know why. Nakalimutan ko atang i-mark to. Pero ayun, maganda naman yung aking progress dito. It's one of the best powders that I've tried. Well, ito lang naman siguro yung high-end powder na na-try ko. I'm not so sure with the other uh, finishing powders from high-end brands. Hindi rin ako ma-powder na tao din. So, ayun. I'm so excited to see 
naka-finish na naman ako isang powder kasi I don't know. Finishing up a product is a, a huge achievement for me personally. Going on to medyo uh na products. I don't know. Medyo nahirapan ako dito ha. In fairness, I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. But this is yung In Her Element Butter Conditioning Lip Color. Ayan, nag, medyo nag-fade na yung kanyang packaging. Mukha na siyang pangit actually. Naputol to when I was trying to do the January check-in. So it's very hard for me to track it na. Pwede ko pa rin naman siya gamitin. I will still continue on on using this product hanggang sa maubos ko siya. Yun yung goal ko for this one. I still like it. Sobrang ganda talaga ng color niya. I can't help but fall in love and look at my lips, stare at my lips for a long time after I have applied this product. Ginagamit ko siya parang lip balm, guys. Tinted lip balm nga siya. Actually, it could be a substitute for a uh, Lipstick, like a very, very moisturizing lipstick. Really nice shade as well. Perfect for every day. Okay, when I say na challenging talaga, these last two products are definitely, definitely frustrating, but I enjoy the challenge. So, when I initially placed this face palette, yung Lorac Pirates and the Caribbean face palette, sa aking project pan, sinabi ko lang na gusto kong makahit pan, pero wala kong specific shade na kino concentrate. In the middle of January, I decided to concentrate on two shades for this face palette. The first one is Eton Destined. This is their champagne parang skin tone uh, highlighter. Sobrang ganda niya. Really, really good highlighter. I really love this. It could be high shine or beaming highlighter if you want it. Pwede mo siyang i-build up. Very skin tone lang yung itsura niya. And the next one is itong si Lost Souls. Uh, this is their very neutral parang rosy light brown shade. Maganda siya sa skin. Actually, it's the blush that I'm wearing right now. You know, very neutral. So, ito na lang yung concentrate ko than Caribbean. Minsan ginagamit ko si Caribbean as an eyeshadow or a blush. Pero mostly itong dalawa talaga yung ginagamit ko. I don't know if you can see it from my progress pictures, but meron nang dent si Destined and meron nang din din si Lost Souls. Initially, kasi medyo flat to. Mukha siyang hindi gamit, actually. Pero ngayon, mukhang gamit na gamit na siya. And I'm so happy for that. Gusto ko lang talagang makahit pan. And ayun, ready na ako to rotate it with my other face palette sa aking collection. Ultimate goal ko talaga is magamit ko to lahat. Kasi it's one of the older products sa aking collection. Pero so far, so good. Maganda pa rin ang formula. I'm still in love with it. Whenever I look at this, sobrang saya ko lang. Kahit na mahal ko tong pinurchase, guys, like, sobrang sulit yun na already for me. Kasi ilang beses ko na to talagang ginagamit. Hanggang ngayon, hindi pa ako nagsasawa sa kanya. Thank goodness, no? <laughs> Last but not the least, this is my other Lorac palette. Actually, ngayon ko lang na-realize na pareho pala silang Lorac, no? Hindi ko to kayang i-declutter. It's very sentimental to me. Binigay ito sa akin ng partner ko. Ayan, sobrang, sobrang love ko lang ito. Very neutral. Again, when I initially placed this sa aking project pan, wala akong specific shade na pinofocus. But I have decided that I will be focusing more on light brown ito. Light brown nectar, this very, very pretty pink shade. And also, itong si Cocoa. Itong uh, shimmer shade nila dito na brown. It's actually very good for deepening up neutral eyeshadows. Minsan, I've been using this on its own. Kinocombine ko rin ito with my other palettes. Minsan, kinocombine ko rin ito with eyeshadows that I am currently reviewing at the moment dun sa aking review bin. Enjoy ko pa rin naman. Again, I don't know if you could see this sa uh, aking progress clips, pero yung light brown si Nectar and si Coco, mayroon na siyang parang dip. I cannot wait to see the pan dito. From the people that I know, or from the people that I watch sa YouTube, sabi nila, madali lang daw i-hit pan ito kasi very shallow lang yung kanyang products. One day, may hit pan ko rin yan. Kahit at least one shade ban lang, di ba? So that is it. Yan ang aking January February progress ng aking project pan and I am so elated. I have so much excitement and talagang na-enjoy ko tong project pan na to. I am proud of myself na medyo okay-okay ang aking curation of products dito sa aking project. Kasi if you notice dun sa aking previous kind of series or if you have been following itong series na to, aking project pan, 
parati ako na frustrate with one or two products kasi nilalagay ko yung mga products na hindi ko talaga gusto. It's on the verge of decluttering pero ayoko pang i-declutter kasi sayang. Parang ganun. Pero alam mo, talagang malaking value yung nilalagay mo yung mga products na gustong gusto mo talaga kasi dun mo talaga na enjoy ang collection mo kahit na everyday mo siyang ginagamit kahit na every makeup session yun yung gamit mo talagang sobrang natutuwa ako that I feel na because of this project pan nasusulit ko yung aking mga products kahit na hindi ko siya technically naubos minsan like for example itong palette na to or itong palette rin na to di ba Hindi ko pa sila naubos, pero feel ko sulit na sulit na siya. So, sobrang daming beses ko siyang ginamit. So, yun lang ang gusto kong i-share. How about you guys? Ano ang gusto nyong i-share sa akin? Baka gusto nyong ilagay yung inyong progress or updates sa comments down below. Let me know if you guys are also doing a project plan or starting to do a project plan for this year. Kamusta naman iyon? If you guys are having a hard time with your project plan, idigam nyo lang ako. Open naman ng aking DM or messaging sa Instagram para i-accommodate kayo. I actually love chatting you guys about your projects, your endeavors, ganon. Natutuwa lang talaga ako when there are more people doing this kasi it helps me as well. So ayun, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope to see you in my next video. Much love. Bye-bye!